In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a watermark in Canva. If you'd like to follow along or simply test out Canva, I will leave my link down below for easier access. We can also log in as well. So this is very easy to do. This is just an example that I used very quickly for, say, like a YouTube creation. I'll give you some reasons why this is going to be helpful, but let's get right into it. So we have our design here. What we want to do is go to the text section and just use any of these texts here will do. So let's do add a heading. And just for the example, let's just call this B-E-A-U-T beauty watermark okay so obviously what you're probably going to want to use here is like your your brand name okay so let's make this bigger it's going to make it the entire length there so so the main thing once this is highlighted what we want to do is click on the transparency box right here so if we lower this a lot you're going to notice it's going to turn into a perfect little watermark so it depends on where you want to be transparency wise like you can go a little bit lower you know obviously not too low because then the watermark will be very minimal right so i think around like eight or ten is good it also depends on your background color as well so what we can also do so i'm going to click off and let's click on this once more and if we click on the three dots we can do duplicate or control d for me on my computer so i'm just gonna put this a little bit lower make sure it's kind of centered ish and i'm gonna do control d you're going to notice that we have a bunch of them. So this is really going to be watermarked up. Now, keep in mind, if you're posting this on social media, you probably don't want to put it like this. Uh, now for the examples, that's pretty much the tutorial, right? So this is good. Say maybe if you're creating designs for someone and you want to send them the rough draft, like this is what you do, because obviously you would put your watermark on it. They're not going to post it like that. Well, if they do, they're probably in trouble and it's going to look horrible. But there's plenty of other reasons why you might want to use a watermark. You can make it a little bit more smaller, a little less conspicuous like this completely watermarks the entire design but it's up to you where you put it and how much you use it and of course the transparency you can play around with it based upon what the background is going to be but that's the quick tutorial about how you can use a or create a watermark in canva i hope that answered any of your questions and of course if you have any other questions feel free to leave a comment down below and i'll do my best to help you out thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video